What drives foreign investments to some cities and regions of the world, but leaves others almost completely untouched? In fact, what attracts flows of investment around the world is not only which countries look like a good bet, but something on a much more local level. The story of globalization is in many ways about certain sub-national regions all over the world connecting with each other. Firms are less interested in what a country can offer than what they can get from an individual city or region. We've learned this by looking at tens of thousands of investments across the globe, region by region, project by project. What becomes obvious is that firms are attracted to a specific set of local conditions. And what seems attractive varies enormously depending on the firm. So, when picking an investment destination, how does a company choose? And what are the key deciding factors? In short, when trying to understand why some cities and regions of the world suck in vast flows of investment, while others are left seemingly untouched, it's essential to understand the way that different kinds of firms sort themselves into different regions depending on the type of activity they're undertaking. Our research? based on rigorous empirical methodologies explain how this happens, where and why.